Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to score what I call a hearts and diamonds score pattern on our bread. On uh, one hand you'll see two different shapes of scoring a heart shape and also the top of the bread will be scored um, to represent a diamond. So let's get to work. To score my bread, I'm using a razor, which is called a lamb, and this wood-handled razor is the Wire Monkey UFO lamb. I'm also using a circular pastry cutter that will help keep all the heart shapes the same size. This dough has been chilled overnight in the refrigerator. The recipe is in the comments and the methods, so be sure to check it out. I also post frequently on my Instagram uh, channel, so make sure to follow that. This is a regular tea towel, by the way, and I love how it just gives a nice pattern to the overall um, bread. I like this texture. Um, I usually dust the towel or the banneton liner with brown rice flour. It helps for the bread not to stick to it. I'm going to uh, spritz the top of the dough with water just that so that it actually helps uh, contain the moisture and also for the flour to stick and as you know our white flour provides a white canvas for our pattern to stand out just gently remove the excess um, i will just dust it off with a um, pastry brush later okay and i also have my trusted toothpick to do the outlines of uh, the pattern as well. So I'm going to uh, separate it into four parts. So we will have four sections and each section will have a heart pattern. I will also have the same pattern on opposite sides. Okay, so one type of heart pattern will use um, the wheat husks and here I am outlining its location with an inverted triangle using a toothpick. And the other type will be uh, just a simple heart pattern and I'm using a pastry cutter, a circular pastry cutter, just because I like that it helps me be proportional. You can't imagine how hard it is to outline something on the dough and for both sides to be uh, the same width. I always mess it up. Let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? Oh. If you're better at drawing hearts, feel free to not use a pastry cutter. And try to kind of uh, wipe clean the outlines of the pastry cutter after you do the heart shape. So the circular pastry cutter, the main reason we're using it is so that we can mark the arches of the diamond shape on the top of the bread. Okay, so it's like a drawing a semicircle around each of the four segments. So imagine cutting the triangle into an inverted circle, an arch. Okay, and then just clear the flour from the top so that it doesn't leave a mark. It does leave a mark when you bake it, okay? So it's time for us to start actually scoring it with our razor. Okay, so the most important thing when you score is the depth and the angle of your razor. Now, with these heart patterns, my goal is for the heart to stand out, literally to elevate from the rest of the bread so that the pattern is, is, is distinct. Therefore, I'm going literally underneath the top layer of the bread and scoring it sort of deep. It's I would say it's like four to five millimeters or maybe it's one sixth of an inch. Um, but you'll see how it is. It's just basically um, as deep as um, half the size of your pinky nail. How about that? Um, and as far as um, our wheat husks go, okay, we'll do it slightly differently. 
um, because for us uh, there is no we don't want that to jump out what we want is to create um, the shape on the bread okay we're going to score it and it will mark the bread but it doesn't need to lift off during the baking process for this um, the angle is not as important the depth is important so but as you can see I'm not going very deep as just shallow scores and they will mark the bread and it will kind of spread a little bit but you will be able to see the heart so then I will do like two shorter wheat husks that like a v-shape um, wheat husks and so when it bakes it will look like a um, heart shape and be careful when you score here because you don't want these opposite score marks to overlap because then it will split the bread now let's score the opposite side the same v-shaped wheat husks two long ones and two nestled short ones and let's speed it up a little bit here So our pattern is almost complete, now we have to score the diamond shape. And for that we're going to do two larger arches and two short ones. So just over where we um, used our pastry cutter to do the um, half moons. And the reason we're doing two large arches and two short ones is so that the two arches do not intervene, the adjacent ones do not intervene. Again, I'm doing pretty deep cuts at an angle, I would say, yes, 45, 50 degree angle, because the reason is that I want it to be pretty well defined, okay? And here on the other side, I'm going to do a shorter arch, so they kind of meet, but don't go all the way. Okay, terrific. So these arches help define the heart patterns and also create a beautiful diamond shaped top for the bread. Now you can go ahead and bake it as is, but I'm going just to add a few more details to the diamond shape using wheat husks pattern. You can either do the same with husks as I'm doing or do anything else um, or just bake it as it is. So I'm going to bake this in my Challenger bread pan and I preheat it for about an hour at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the max in your Celsius if you have a uh, user Celsius uh, system. And then as I load it on the pan, I lower the temperature at 430 degrees, bake it for 22 minutes, and then finish baking uncovered for another 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Look how beautiful the bread looks when I uncover it. And this is how it splits and creates the diamond top and the sides have kind of come off the bread defining the arches and the heart shapes and it's a beautiful color too it takes 20 minutes to get this color at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it not only looks pretty on the outside but um, it's gorgeous the crumb is soft and I'll show you a picture a little bit later of how it looks on the inside. This bread is really delicious and it's not sour at all. 
See the recipe and the method in the description below. If you like this video tutorial, I hope that you would click like and subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos being posted. You could also follow me on Instagram for daily posts and methods and suggestions. And I hope that you will continue to score art on your bread and I look forward to seeing you here soon. Happy baking!